after the game against Brighton, I know he's angry with he's that vexed. team. He's vexed. That second goal, he saw heads drop. He's yep. thinking, I can't see these faces. I need to fix up. We out of here. You don't win much, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Bun United, man. Bun you lot. Now, big up. <laughs> big up. Next season, though, do you think we can do it? Yes. Hey. Thank you very much, my boy. Hopefully, we can do it. My man. <laughs> What's going on my people? Welcome back to AFTV. Welcome back to another Ask the Fans. Listen, it's a lovely day here outside the Emirates Stadium. It's been a tough week for Arsenal fans and Arsenal in general. So I'm going to get straight to the point and ask you the question that you're going to hear in this video today. When was the moment you thought it's all falling apart? Where did it go wrong? Brentford points that we should have got. It could be the transfer windows. It could be the injuries. It could be the Europa League games maybe coming out of there. Um, coming out of other cup competitions. Was it injuries? Was it draws? What was it? Let's get into this people. Let's hear what the people have to say. We're all in this together. Let's go. Okay, bro, it's, it's, it's a question that's hurting me to say, but where for you as a fan did it fall apart this season for Arsenal? It's a tough one, yeah. Um, I would say when it comes down to it, head to head against Man City. I mean, if you can't draw those two games or win one and draw one, you've got to accept that they're the better team, Fair. you know? Jump in straight away. Little men, give me respect. Love, love, love. I like the tops as well. Quickly, um, that's a bit of a sadder note, but where for you, did it go wrong for Arsenal this season? What 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 time was it? Was it injuries? The, a game that comes to Sleeve mind? Sleeve is injury. Sleeve is injury. He yeah. was a big loss. Okay. We're still good and all, like we're class, but look, we can't handle Haaland. Yeah. Vians, no yeah. one can. No one, yeah, well, <laughs> I was about to say exactly what I was about to say. Well, listen guys, hopefully next season we go on and do it, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Well, I was a bit ambitious. I had faith until the last match. That's fine. Probably shouldn't, but I think. No, oh, bro, bro, I've been very ambitious as well. I think the head started to drop a bit against Liverpool, yeah. and then still had a bit of faith. And then when it came to West Ham, it was a bit like. Then I was at the Southampton match, and that's when I definitely knew. But I think maybe around West Ham, Liverpool. Okay. And the Arsenal that I got born and raised with, we were on smoke. Facts. We were on smoke. Very, very people, very people were shook. People were shook to like, oh, what Arsenal and that? No, yeah. we can't mock them. Yeah. And I think the reason why we get a lot of hate is people are afraid of what we're going to become again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know what that? Even people me. are afraid of the monsters that Mikel is going to make our team into. After the game against Brighton, I know he's angry with he's that vexed. team. He's vexed. That second goal, he he's saw vexed. heads drop. He's yep. thinking, I can't see these faces. I need to fix up. He wants people that are physically strong, tactically astute, yep. technically good. Yep. People like Rice and Caicedo fit that bill. So I. I I'm looking forward to next well, season. There's probably two different things here. The first is the substitutions. Artel's uh, personnel decisions, the late game. He's not making those subs. He's sitting Saka on, he's Martinelli on way too late. I mean, we have Chassard, bring him on late. And the second piece is like, I mean, like you said, we're, we're, we're draws, dropping points where we shouldn't be dropping them. Early in the season, a couple of points could have picked up and especially late here. After we lost Saliba, I mean, it's all downhill. Where did it go wrong? Was it the, the draws? The Liverpool was it the game, when we drew versus Liverpool. It's, hard, it's, hard, it's, a hard, it's a hard game at Anfield though. It wasn't. I mean, we were 20 lap, so yeah. we, sh we should have should at have least won. keep it until half time. After the half time, you know, you can't you can defend the rest. After the sucker missed the pen, I don't want to blame him. Yeah, okay, okay. Which I won't. I won't yeah. blame no Arsenal player in there. Listen, a lot of us going through the pain right now, obviously, just feeling like it's over. But where for you as a fan did it fall apart? What moment in this season? I don't think it has fallen apart. Oh, I, you're up against the Manchester City, they're owned by a country. They've got immense wealth behind them. Yeah. We've done brilliantly this season. That is I my... think we should be very proud of the team. And I, the real key is what we do next season and how we prepare for it. That is but my... We've been fantastic. Thank you very much. That is my favourite I mean, answer. Yeah, it's the only answer, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we should be celebrating this. We weren't in the Champions League last year. We are next year. What an answer. Oh, he's right. He's actually right. He's actually right. A few moments later. No, oh, it's a nice day. But this club, they're going to have to bury me. They have to let me down and they have to bury me because they let me down a lot. But I've loved this season. I don't want to take away from that. But he's not let me down. I really thought this was it. I really thought this was going to be it. When did it fall apart? What, what, what time was it? The injuries, yeah. Especially at the women's team. Yeah. It's really hard yes. for so them. Injuries, yeah, for the, for the women's and men's team. Injuries for the women's team massively as well. A lot of, yeah. lot of ACL injuries yeah. um, this season. The women's team is more hurt, yeah. I think. 100%. Because it's really hard for them to... Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Because they're, they're serious injuries, but... Hopefully, hopefully they've come back stronger. Yes. Where do you think it all went wrong? About three weeks ago. About three weeks ago? Yeah. When, oh, three weeks ago, I need to go back. Oh, the draws, round the draws? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, listen, hopefully next season. Next hopefully season. next season. We were so close. We were so, close. Close. so close. But next season, hopefully, we'll get there all the way. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Go Arsenal! My girl! I like her. The energy, I like that. I think it was losing Saliba. Yeah? I think, yeah. After we lost him, we just capitulated. And probably the Liverpool draw. Liverpool Because we were so comfortable in the lead. Yeah. Okay. From there, we just lost it. I just... They just lost their heads. Fair. Even Saka, he hasn't been playing good recently. Yeah. So I'm not too sure. Basically, we were going to focus on one thing only, the Premier League. And then injury of Saliba, that's, that killed it for me. And then three draws in a row as well, you know. We're going to win the Premier League next season. Okay. Definitely. Well, that's, that's my prediction for it. Yeah, it was only because City had, well, they have a tough run of game. Well, you consider it tough, but well, I City, it was for City yeah. it's not. But yeah, I thought they might have dropped points against Everton. And then they still have Brentford to go. Yes. So I thought that might be difficult, but now, the City are a bit unstoppable at the moment. Do you feel like it's really far off that Arsenal are or are we quite close? Uh, we're closer than ever, but we're still a little way to go. Let's be real. You know, we need three, four players to bring on. And when we have injuries, then we can bring people in. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, if they get Casido in Rice. Then we're good. Plus Blokovic. Yes. yes. All good. My man, thank you very much. Three signings, he said. We need more. Do we need more? Three, yes. Two midfielders. I need one striker and one cover for William Saliba. You know the younger Arsenal fans? You'd think that the younger Arsenal fans would really understand and be like, right, we've got the youngest manager in the team with the youngest players in the, in the league. Yeah. We need to back it because they're YGs. Yeah, of course, of course. But why is it that the younger fans are the ones that are all onto him? Nah, this, that. But the older ones are, are, are the believers. Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. they know how football clubs and processes mm. take work. Time. Take time. The younger fans are very for today. Fans yeah. only care about that's, today. That's, that's the generation, bro. Generation. Phones, everything. They want everything today, instantly. Today, now, instantly. Need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang, now. Nah. <laughs> Give me a trophy. <laughs> now. Nah. That's legit. That's how it is. Don't move your facial emotions or expressions if you think Arsenal can win the league next season. He just watched the Gary Neville video yesterday. Done it. That's why he's looking pissed. Hey, no, he's, 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 he's confirmed it. He's confirmed it. So that's it. We've come to the end of the video, people. And it's now time to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below where you think it fell apart this season for Arsenal. Or even if it did at all. I like what the older gentleman said. I don't think it has fallen apart. We've done brilliantly this season. The real key is what we do next season and how we prepare for it. That one's going to stick with me. Like the video if you like the video. Keep the faith, people. Keep smiling. We go again. Take care. Love and guidance. Peace. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.